Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the Army holds a worldwide stand down. It's flu shot season, a pitch from the Asymmetric Warfare Group, and more. But first, a message from the Commanding General of the Installation Management Command. Let's stand up and fight for life. Suicide prevention is everyone's responsibility. All of you, soldiers, family members, and our civilian workforce, are in this fight together. We are a team of teams. Our installations are resiliency platforms and provide you health, fitness, and family programs. If you need help, just reach out. Let's build ready and resilient soldiers and families now. We win together, stand up for life, and ensure your battle buddies are Army strong. This week, the Army held a worldwide stand down to conduct mandatory suicide prevention awareness training. It teaches people to see that challenges are temporary, not permanent. Challenges are local, not global. Challenges can be changed by your own effort. Four training sessions for service members, civilians, and post leadership were held Wednesday at the Post Theater. And although the Army called for the stand down, Kenneth Jones from Army Community Services says it's a DOD problem. In the Army, when we say that we saw more suicides in one month than any time prior, keeping statistics, we're talking about a, a very large number in one month. That supersedes what we saw in all the other services. But yes, this is a DOD problem. Jones also added that it's just not an active duty problem either. It's a civilian one too. There was one installation where we had five employees who killed themselves in the same organization in the same week. This was an Air Force installation. And when we look at things like, when we look at things like sequestration and some of the cuts that are coming, these times that we're living in are unprecedented. So when we talk about the stress among the workforce, what our people are going through, I'm sure you've seen it. A panel of experts was on hand to answer questions, including responding to the issues of stigma and the reporting of mental health issues. The Secretary Gates in 2008 actually changed the requirement on question 21. So it was no longer required to list mental health treatment, and particularly with regard to um, issues related to combat, um, marital issues, grief type of issues. Um, so that was, a, that was a real significant policy change in terms of reducing barriers and stigma related to seeking care, particularly as it relates to the security clearance. Now the other, the other piece that's less known that we'd like to educate you know, folks who are going through a security clearance process or who have been sent to mental health for a command directed evaluation is that it's actually not seeking mental health having a mental health diagnosis that rules somebody out of a security clearance. What we look for in these specialty type of evaluations is, what is the issue with regard to a person's judgment and reliability? And often, seeking treatment is seen as good judgment. For more information on suicide prevention, go to www.preventsuicide.army.mil. In other news, it's flu shot season once again. Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein received the first shots of the season Thursday at Club Mead. Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center has released a schedule of shot clinics through the end of October. On October 1st and 2nd, the clinic will be held at the Defense Information School for staff and students. A series of clinics for active duty, family members, retirees and their families, and DOD civilians scheduled for October 9th through the 12th, October 15th through the 17th, and October 29th through the 31st. October 19th and the week of the 22nd through the 26th, the clinic is for active duty service members and soldiers in readiness processing. One note here, reserve and National Guard personnel must be in duty status to participate. Meanwhile, here's a reminder from MWR's Child Youth and School Services, the next Parents' Night Out is coming up October 19th from 6.30 to 10 p.m. It's open to kids from 6 weeks old to 12 years old. Registration for Parents' Night Out fills up quickly, so call CYSS at 301-677-1149 for more information. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend. Before we go, stay tuned for a quick message from the Asymmetric Warfare Group.